Okay guys, we're going to continue with vectors today. Hope you're excited about learning whether um, vectors are distributive. But firstly, let's talk about real numbers. So, are real numbers distributive? So, uh, let's give you a quick example. So, if we have three numbers, A, B and C are all real numbers. Um, then what's going to happen is if I multiply A by the product, sorry, by the sum of B and C, so A times B and C, if you remember the rules for expansion, that actually equals A times B plus A times C. Okay, so a good example would be 3 times 4 plus 5 is equal to 3 times 4 plus 3 times 5. So that's 12 plus 15, which is 27. And obviously, if you did the brackets first, 3 times 9 is also 27. So this method works. So, for real numbers, it is definitely distributive. So, we're going to put a cross in this addition row because um, when we talk about real numbers multiplication, it includes, includes addition as well. So, yes, um, A times B plus C equals A times B plus A times C. Okay, now we're going to talk about how it works with vectors. So let's again cross out vector addition because the distributive law is a mixture of addition and the dot product. So if we have vector A, vector B, and vector C, okay, now, um, what we need to prove is that A, ta A dot B plus C is equal to A dot B plus a dot c. So hopefully you have seen the dot product videos um, to understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to draw vector a at the bottom okay, or as a horizontal line. So this line here is vector a. This line here is vector a. Now, I'm going to draw vector B first from the left side of A. Okay, over here. And this is vector B. And this is the angle theta. Okay, now, if you guys remember a dot B is the same as B dot A as I have um, said up here for the commutative law the vector dot product is um, A dot B is equal to B dot A it's commutative so down here a dot B is equal to B dot A um, so it is equal to and hopefully you guys still remember the dot product um, the formula for it is magnitude of B times magnitude of A times cos theta 
Oops. Okay, so if you don't remember that, please have a look and at the dot product tutorial so we can rearrange it obviously to give us b magnitude of b cos theta times magnitude of a right you can multiplication is commutative meaning that you can rearrange the order okay so this length here from the beginning which is the origin to here is equal to magnitude of b cos theta isn't it so that also refers to the scalar resolute of b on a or how much of vector b is going in the direction of vector a okay now we are going to draw another vector called vector c so let's draw another vector here and I'll draw a slightly different angle. So let's get up to here. And um, this is vector C. And if I do A dot C. which is the same as C dot A and this is exactly the same thing as C magnitude of C oops forgot the vector notation magnitude of C times cos theta times magnitude of A so therefore what is the angle between C and A? Well since a is directly horizontal you can imagine a going in this direction directly horizontal so this angle theta 2 is the angle between vector a and vector c so i'm going to call cos theta 2 and then the projection of c onto a or the vector resolute um, of C on A is this distance here so from here let's use another color so this distance this distance here is there for C magnitude of C cos theta theta 2 so that is what this distance is okay and now let's have a look at what the vector b plus c looks like so if we have vector b going this way, vector c going that way, then vector b plus c, which I'm going to draw with a different color, let's make it uh, aqua. So if I draw with another color, an arrow from the origin to here, Okay, this is now vector B plus C. Vector B plus C is that aqua arrow. Okay, and A dot B plus C. is therefore equal to b plus c dot a because we learned that the dot product was commutative which is equal to this length here
Oops, how did I do that? Which is equal to this length here. The projection of C, B plus C onto A. Um, times A times the magnitude of A. So uh, the magnitude of B plus C cos theta times the magnitude of A and B plus C cos theta Um, let's call this theta 3, this angle here, let's call that theta 3, is this green line. Okay, now let's compare the 3, and we can see here that um, B cos theta, which is this section here, plus magnitude of C cos theta 2 which is this section here is equal to B plus C magnitude of that cos theta 3 which is this length here this distance plus this distance is equal to this distance Okay, so does this rule work? Well, let's put this formula. Okay, let's put this formula here on the left, right? Because that is equal to this. So let's put that over here. We got B plus C. cos theta and then times that by the magnitude of A and let's put these two let's put these two formulas over here on the right hand side so we got um, B cos theta A plus C cos theta 2A and by the way this is theta 3 over here theta 3 okay so now that we have done that we can see um, that we can factorize the right hand side because both of these terms have b uh have magnitude of a in it okay so let me just rearrange this page so what i'm going to do is factorize the right hand side because i know that um, these are all scalar quantities so basically these are all real numbers on the right hand side right now so therefore I can factorize it so I can put magnitude of A at the front and then I'm gonna factorize it and make it theta B cos theta plus sorry not theta b uh, vector b vector c magnitude of vector c cos theta 2 so I have taken I have taken um, the magnitude of a which is this and this and I put it at the front of the brackets which is called factorizing so hopefully you guys know what I've just done. I've just taken it out the front. Okay, so that is done. 
And now on the left hand side, I can rewrite this as magnitude of A times B plus C cos theta 3. And what we learned from the previous page is that magnitude of b cos theta plus magnitude of c cos theta is equal to magnitude of b plus the c cos theta 3. So this part here is equal to this part here. And then since we, we got both magnitude of a over here and magnitude of a over here, these are therefore equal. So we have proven or shown to you guys that the dot product for vectors is commutative. So um, for the table here that we were drawing up before, we can say that yes, the dot product is commutative and the rule is um, vector A dot vector B plus vector C is equal to A dot B plus A dot C. I mean the vector dot product is distributive that's what I'm saying. Okay so we have the commutative, associative, distributive laws all typed up for you guys in this table. Um, so summary, uh, both real numbers and vectors are commutative. Um, real numbers are associative. Vector addition, vector addition <coughs> Is associative but not the dot product because um, it's not applicable associativity is not applicable with the vector dot product distributive law yes for both real numbers and vectors vector dot product is distributive as well okay thanks for watching guys see you next time